It's national meets regional. Welcome to Sidewalks Entertainment, the long-running celebrity, music, and art series. Join us now for an exciting new path to celebrity interviews, music, rising talents, and much, much more. My master class is about giving back. It's about teaching the next generation what was taught to me. If you can do every eight count, all you're doing is building a muscle of mediocrity. Dance is just like playing a piano or singing a note. You have to stay sharp. Your technique has to be what sustains you. So just don't go to a class where you feel like you're performing. That's what a class is for, to be pushed. So here we go. Let me see this, five, six, seven, eight, and one, and two. Now from there, I want a nice, clean attitude turn like you're throwing your guts around. Ha! And recover, six. So just work that out in your head. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, and two. Cat, cat, cat! So let me see that cat. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, and two, get, so get, got, get. Um, I got some news that uh, the dancers will not be able to make it. The Puff Daddy dancers on tour. Our next guest is a talented choreographer, director, singer, actress, and dancer. She has choreographed dance numbers for megastars like Michael Jackson, Beyonce, Katy Perry, Alicia Keys, and Nicki Minaj, just to name a few. She was also a fly girl on the popular TV series In Living Color. And now this star maker is taking you behind the glitz, glam, and music in the docuseries Lorianne Gibson, Beyond the Spotlight. I'd like to welcome the fiercely talented artist, Lorianne Gibson to Sidewalks. Lorianne, thank you again for being here. Thank you for having me. Awesome. Yeah. Wow, thanks for I, the introduction. That was spectacular, <laughs> honey. You've done so many wonderful, exciting projects, Lorianne, and I wish we were in person, actually, so you can actually show me some of those dance moves that you've learned over the years. <laughs> well, you know what? You have, a, trust me, let me know and it will happen. I'll, I'll do it one day, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I might have to test you out here. I'll put you on the spot in a minute here, but um, I actually wanted to flash back with you and, and ask you what was maybe one of your favorite dance rooms from back in the day as an aspiring artist? Because back then, there was some different dance moves. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it's interesting because I did love a good running man and a good Roger Rabbit, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, as a choreographer and as a natural born dancer, you definitely, you know, I always go to the club and say, I'm not going to do the latest dance. I produce the dance. You know what I mean? <laughs> so every day I'm coming up with a new dance. Yeah, every day. <laughs> Yeah, I, I could imagine, like, every day you wake up, you're waking up dancing in your bed, so. <laughs> right, I'm like, you want me to nay-nay? Nay you want me to dab? I can't dab, I'm the queen of dance. What are you talking about? <laughs> Anyways, who in death to the dab? Here on <laughs> Veronica, I, uh, please. <laughs> It's you done. know, I'm definitely a fan of the Running Man and of, of the Cabbage Patch from back in the day in my era. So, <laughs> um, I'm cabbage patching right now, can you see me? <laughs> well, I, Lorianne, who influenced your dance career? Because I imagine there's been a bunch of influences in your life, and maybe who were some of them that you can tell us about? J-E-S-U-S, -S, honey. <laughs> <laughs> facts, right on. Facts. Um, but yes, uh, Baryshnikov, Gregory Hines really like immobilized me when I would watch them dance, and ultimately Alvin Ailey, American Dance Theater, really pulled me into what the possibility of technique and how they moved when I saw them at 12 years old, and that's what really led me to jump on a Greyhound bus and go to Alvin Ailey to study dance, was seeing yeah. the first company. And I think that really changed my life, and, and I could identify with the dance on that level. Yeah, and you know, for you, Lorianne, I understand that, you know, pursuing a professional dance career is, it's a tough, really tough industry to break into. And for you to go from, from Canada to New York, what were some of the challenges for you on your path? And, and how did you remain determined and motivated and, you know, going through those ups and downs as a dancer? I think that is truly, uh... <laughs> A, you know, a remarkable story, and I think that's one thing why Lifetime was so generous and awesome with taking the chance with this show, Beyond the Spotlight, is that you get to see 
and hear my journey and the reality of how do you persevere through every door closing? How do yeah. you not give up? How do you continue to lift others and serve their gift? And then ultimately, out of that, you then have earned the right to, you know, create your own spotlight. But it's been, it's been a journey, and that's the whole point, is it is a process. Life is a process. And I think that ultimately I do have the gift to persevere, and it is something that I want to inspire people to do. And I've also yeah. done the work, you know? I don't just work with these celebrities or collaborate or actually be maybe the ingredient that gives them that chance to win, but I've done the work, you know? I have really yeah. put a lot of work into what I do. Yeah, and it, and me going back again um, before we continue with the um, Beyond the Spotlight, you actually landed a gig before all of that as a fly girl in In Living Color. Now that back then was like, that was such a popular show for you. Um, how did you do that? Like, what was it like for you back then? It was like auditioning and you had no money left. And if you didn't <laughs> get the job, you didn't know how you were gonna fly yourself back to New York. I flew to LA to audition without a return flight. And you had to basically leave it on the dance floor for real, on the audition floor. And when Rosie Perez picked me, you know, obviously in that moment, my life changed forever. But oh. I also earned the right because I trained. I, I took chances and I believed in my dream above all, you know, yeah. circumstances. Yeah, well, and now from there, obviously believing in your dream and working with megastars and, and propelling the careers of, of these stars and your company, Boomcack. Oh my goodness, you've done so much. So the series Beyond the Spotlight tells about, you know, like you said, tells us about what you go through and the realness and so for you, I want to know, like, you know, it's a high pressure job. How have you uh, find your balance um, doing all of these, doing this series and, and being on schedules and putting things together in so little time? <laughs> that part. I think that that's it, you know. Uh, it's in the process and you have to watch the show and everything that you said is my reality. And I think that people don't realize they, they might see the show, the one performance, and they don't realize when what went into it. And sometimes, you know, that was enough for a different time. But right now, in the music industry, in the dance industry, there needs to be a different narrative. In order for mm -hmm. me to continue to create, I felt like I need to change the narrative and remind people that the process is okay, that to work hard is what it takes. Because that's where you produce great artists and great work and great shows. Yeah, You know, Nikki Puff Daddy, Alicia Keys, Lady Gaga, these things took time. These artists were brave enough and bold enough to be okay with the preparation and the rehearsal time and what it took. And I think sometimes because of Instagram and the idea that the everything, everyone wants everything instantly, it's changed the value of those great artists and made you think that everybody can do it. And that's yeah. just not the truth. It is the truth, and that's why I was like, not to give away too much of the of the show, because there's so much, so many wonderful scenes in this uh, docu series. There's a scene where you and Puffy have a conversation, and he asks you, he, he he wants you to enjoy yourself, and you ask how you do, how do you do that? And so that's really interesting for you as an artist. Like, you must work your tail off, but do you enjoy yourself? <laughs> I'm so glad, Veronica, you asked me that because that was really like a, a, a sensitive moment. Like when I saw that, I was like, oh my God, they really exposed me because that's yeah. the thing. I've worked so hard and that's what my job was and, and, and worked hard so hard for other people that I didn't have time and you don't. And this is what sacrifice is about. And, you know, yeah. people might not have to sacrifice the things I have to sacrifice, but together, if we acknowledge that it does take sacrifice for your kids, for the, the, the person that wants to own their own restaurant, it's okay. Because you're built, before you realize it, to, to, to sacrifice. When God yeah. gives you a dream, he gives you the ability to sacrifice the things in order to make it happen. So I've, I sacrificed a lot of fun times, but trust, I'm gonna have fun now. So it was all <laughs> worth it. But yeah, I had right to ask on. the party man how to have a party. <laughs> all right, Matthew, I need to roll. I'm Come not on, let's here Let's go, people night. got things to do. Let's go. Stay in it. Stay in the magic. I'm 
watching the dancers and I'm knowing how very sensitive to greatness my brother Sean is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the girls start out a little weak. One second, guys. What did you think? I felt like the energy went down. I did feel you that one. Because it's kind of looking like that wasn't clean. Lorianne put me in charge. That's including Megan, and it's not looking right. I just hope it doesn't fall back on me. I've oh, got to fake it like you are not tired. Feel it again with the music. If I have to get up there and dance myself, guess what? I'll dust off those good old combat boots and I'll be up there on my own. For you, Lorianne, um, you know, obviously the dancing is has been always a big influence in every era and has gained so much popularity, like you said, in social media and TV shows. You know, what do you think of the newer generation of dance moves and have you found yourself getting down to some of those moves? <laughs> Well, I found myself knowing that I can still get down and they need to get down with my moves. But I think that it's incredible that the language of dance is so popular and that's, you know, part of Lifetime believing in me and giving me the platform to shine because it is yeah. about the dance and dancers are the new superstars. Uh, the one thing I do know is that because sometimes it's so easy to go to YouTube and mimic someone, that it's a little bit more difficult to find your own special rhythm. The thing that yeah. made Barishnikov so special, that makes Michael special, that makes my choreography so special, is you can't forget to dance. It's not about right. just doing steps. It's yeah. about dancing, and there is something to that gift and to the knowledge of how to dance, how to do the step, how to feel the step. So I still want the new generation to realize that greatness is in the process, and instead of mimicking, you know, really take time to understand how to dance. That is so true, Lorianne. Thank you so much for sharing this story. We're looking forward to sharing this with everybody. And uh, if you can send us off with one of those maybe older dance moves or a newer dance move in like 10 seconds and break us down. I'm just doing a little snake over here for you and a little Okay, I'm little giving the lock. kids a little zhuzh. I'm nay naying, but I'm also swirling and I'm okay. Harlem shaking, and I'm <laughs> voguing, and I'm just moving through life because that's what you do, honey. Don't try to do everybody else's dance. Do yours. Just do, do yours, girl. what <laughs> you feel. <laughs> Lorianne, thank you so much. Much continued success to you, and we look forward to so much more. Thank you. Love you. For more full-length celebrity interviews, visit SidewalksTV.com.